Hi guys, um, it's me, Anna. I was wanting to do a little video for you guys that will help people with their transition over to Beam. And this is just gonna be a little tutorial on how to dual stream on Twitch and Beam at the same time. If you're worried about switching over fully, or if you just wanna try out the platform a little bit, this is a good way to do it. And this is how I started on Beam. And it only took me a couple days before I decided I wanted to stay on Beam. So hopefully this can encourage some of you to, to try it and just see what happens. You can still have your community on Twitch and people can find you on Beam and see how you like it without losing anything. And it's the safest way and it felt right for me to be able to do that as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tutorial and yeah, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do to set up my account. So let's get into it. You wanna make sure you have a Twitch account. Obviously, you probably do if you're watching this. <laughs> and also sign up for a Beam account. You go to beam.pro, sign up, do all the little things that they tell you to do. Simple, just like any other website. Once you have those two, you wanna make sure you have OBS Studio installed. You're gonna to wanna to go to restream.io. I'll have the link down below if you wanna just click on it or just type it in. You wanna sign up for an account, type in your email and a password, and you sign up. And then you log in, obviously. And what you first wanna do is add the channel so you wanna add your YouTube gaming channel, your Twitch, your Beam, whatever you want to add to stream to. You can stream to multiple things at the same time. And then it should be here. So now if you wanted to stream to that, it's, it's automatically selected. See here I have Beam, Twitch, and Hitbox. Hitbox is off, YouTube streaming is on, so I'm gonna turn that off because I'm not gonna use that. So once those are connected, you make sure you have the right um, RTMP URL, what server. Um, you pick the server that's closest to you, distance-wise. Uh, for me, San Jose. Sometimes I use Seattle, sometimes I use Texas, depending on if things are not working very well. But San Jose is usually the right one for me. Open up your OBS Studio, click on Settings. And you're gonna, you're gonna want to Click here on, under service, type restream.io, and you go back here, copy your stream key, paste it in, hit apply. Once that all there, this is how you're gonna connect. Another thing you probably wanna do to make it easier on yourself is to download Squirtbot. Squirtbot is a really cool bot that a lot of beam streamers are using and the reason that it works really well is because it has dual twitch and beam support so the chats can be relayed so like on twitch look at this it says my bot name but these are all people and then it says chromatose gg now it's 89 and it's showing who's typing on beam on the twitch chat so your two communities can talk together without losing anything really. So it's kind of a, a good way to to get to know people on both sides and know what everyone's talking about. Otherwise you get lost. So you definitely wanna make sure you link up your chats by downloading the spot. And also what's neat about it, there's a shared point and hour system. So you know, how you normally have like a ranking system. Um, this will work cross platform. So whatever site they're on, that's where they're gonna, th uh, it, it, it's all connected so it makes it way easier for people that want to dual stream it has subscription follow alerts quotes custom commands um, all these things song requests so if you don't want to miss out on nightbot song requests you can still do song requests using this spot it has game with support and an auto host system for twitch only but it's still a neat feature that they do have and it is in beta and in constant development so I would recommend you know if you have any problems contact a uh, Scorpio on Twitter right here I just started using this bot recently too another good bot I would recommend is Scotty bot but for the sake of this tutorial we want Scorp bot because it does the dual chat and I know that a lot of people don't want to have two chat windows open or anything and this will allow the streamer and 
the people on both sites to be able to communicate easily. Once you download Scorebot to a location that you can easily access, double click on it, open up the application. Apparently I have an update, so I'm gonna do that really quick. Loading, loading, loading. <laughs> All right, come on. All right, so it's connecting. So this is the, the GUI that they have. Oh, I was like, why is there a song playing? Oh yeah, I, I, I tested out the song request. <laughs> Rip. Oh well, so the song request does work. On either platform, the bot is connected to both. To connect, you type in your bot name. Anna's bot is that one. Channel name, Analysis 89 leave the hashtag. Leave everything else the same. Then click Generate OAuth Token. And that will take you to a web page where you copy and paste the token right here. And then hit Connect. And then you're going to want to do that on this beam section too. Type in your bot's name, channel name, uh, generate OAuth token, and then copy paste that there. Hit connect. So then you go over to streamer, type your name, generate OAuth token, and then copy pasta again, back in there. If you want to connect your game with, the same thing. So what's neat about this, the, you go to tab relay if you want the messages to connect to Twitch and Beam. Here it shows you the how the message is going to look. Actually, I think I'm going to take out the little... I don't like that. I don't like the little things. What should I call it? Brackets. Yeah, those. I don't like the brackets. So I'm going to take that off. And it's just going to be so that on Twitch's side, it's going to have the username of the Beam user. And they'll say the message that they said. And on Beam side, the username of the user and the, tw the message from the Twitch person. And you just make sure you check this on. It might be off, but you want to turn it on. And it should start relaying your chat. So now, so now if I type here, then when you go to Beam, If I type here, then it shows up right there. And if I type here, and you go back to Twitch, it shows up right here. <laughs> so it's really cool. And now it looks like someone's actually talking because it says an Atlas A9 without the brackets because the brackets were kind of bugging me. So if you want to take those out too, you can. If you want to leave them, whatever. But you can configure it however you like. So, and even if you do commands, on one side, you'll be able to see them on the other side. So it's a really nice system and a great way to, um, to test out Beam. So once you got that all figured out and your restream is connected to your OBS, you have all the, the bot chat relays, you can continue working on Scortbot, adding all the different things you can do. Um, it shows your viewer list, giveaway, if you want to do a giveaway, currency, you can name your currency, whatever, do a ranking system, just like any other bot usually. And then the commands, timers, quotes, song requests, you can even have sound effects. There are little games you can play, like slots, and they're all, they're disabled, but then you can enable them if you want. Um, I might have to test some of these out because they look like fun. The eight ball is really cool. Uh, I enabled that. You do exclamation mark Q and ask it a question. Am I pretty? And then it'll say, shake the magic eight ball. The answer is ask again later. But what's cool about this is you can edit. And I think I'm going to add like some of my mods into the commands. Because I did that a long time ago when I used Inkbot on Twitch. And I really enjoyed seeing people's reactions when they see their own name respond to something that someone said. Like, Dashy says, no way. You should be ready to start your stream and your adventure on the new platform of Beam, which is all about interactivity and community and everyone's super friendly. So I'm hoping that some of you guys will take a leap of faith and try it out, at least dual stream. Let's try it out for a couple days, see how it goes, and make your decision after you've, you've been on the site a little bit because I don't regret it at all. 
and we do need more people on the site. And they're expecting to grow a lot this year, so it's a good time to get started if you can move your community over. I wish you guys luck in all your streams, and hopefully my tutorial um, was a little bit of help. And I will see you guys at beam.pro backslash anatlas89. I stream probably six days a week on average, so come hang out, drop me a follow, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!